Okay, round 10. Let's see what I missed here. He has, as USA, he purchased 14 infantry. He bombed Germany successfully again, Poland, Belgium, Congo, Rhodesia. Quite a force here. It's like he's kind of moving them south, which is smart. Not a lot I can do anyways in response. No new territory captures by the Russians, which I like. Let's try and keep their income down. I mean, he took a Venki National Awkward. Oh, but failed to take the territory. Fantastic. All right, and I see he's holding up here. So this gives me the option with Japan of moving up into Novo if I want to, or I can hold up here and delay it another turn. So that's fine. Germany is going to build a lot more infantry is mainly what I'm all about. So what am I going to need here? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, eight units is pretty bad. I'm getting smothered by these bombers. Um, I only have the two planes. So I think I could swap these two territories, and that's probably it. We'll pull the tanks back. Um, I'm going to go here, one, two, and a bomber, and send the fighter here with an infantry and an artillery. That should be more or less right. Maybe we'll send, I don't have a lot of artillery. I, I have enough artillery to spare. I can do this. Three versus two in both cases. I might lose one of them, but I don't have to win everything. Next phase, combat. Northwest Territories. Haha, <laughs> I was fooling around in my settings today and I turned the animations on. How dumb is that? I'm going to turn that back off again. I remember when I, why I shut those off. Oh, I can't do it from here. Settings. Here we go. Graphics. Animations off. Whew. Killed him. Is he going to get me back? No, really clean kill on Northwest Europe. I was pretty lucky. And Baltic States. Boom, Baltic States. All right, got them both. Nice, efficient kill. I'm going to put some tanks here. Put my other tanks back, actually, because what I want to do is be in a position here to prevent him from advancing into like Poland or Baltic states or anything like that while also effectively defending France. So this lets me do that. I've all, you know, my, my slow units are up front, fast units in behind. Not like he can even bring us a very strong attack here. He's doing this northern shuck, so he's only got eight that can come down here. I could even bring more over. Something like that. Do I want to leave an infantry here? If I don't, the British are going to blitz it. Can't have them having stuff for free. So we'll leave an infantry there. Okay, stack it up. Pretty soon I'm going to be facing united multi-nation armies as the Japanese. Not happening yet. It's just the Russians here and planes, but I think he's going to change that up soon, probably. Next phase. And over to you, Charmander. Japan's turn. It's round 10. UK has moved. Eight infantry. That's it. Combat. Bomb Germany. Five EPC again. Ow. Northwestern Europe took it clean. Baltic states destroyed my artillery. Bulgaria took the infantry. No units lost. He's got a few losses here. Very expensive trading for me. Okay, Japan. I need to put some pressure on here. Let's take a look at the damage I can do to Kazakh. So this bomber here can reach. Um, I've got 30 infantry, 31, 1, 1, 6, 3. That is probably not enough, 31, 1, 1, 6, 3, because he is defending with 33, 4, 10. 0, 10, rather, because those are fighters, not tanks. So I'm going to run that through the calc, not thinking very optimistically about it. Yeah, 0%. I'm thinking more about can I move into Novozaburgsk and surround him, force him to retreat out of here uh, by zigzag, which will be great because it'll let me solidly take Persia as well. If I do go here, I assume I would lose one, so I'd have 29 infantry. I'd have no planes, just the artillery and the tank would be there. And he could attack me with 33 and 4, which is 37 infantry. Um, four artillery and three tanks and two planes. It's not a great attack force, but might be enough. 99% chance of beating me. Okay, so that 37 infantry is enough to really break through. So I'm going to have to sit here a little longer. It's okay. 
Um, going to keep building a balance of infantry and artillery as I was doing before. I think um, 14 um, spared bucks. Could do it like that. Maybe even throw in a couple of uh, tanks here. Build it like this. I like the tanks. I think they can speed things up a little bit more here. I like that he's sending just enough guys to Persia to like keep me busy on India, but not enough to actually mess up what I'm trying to do. That's really uh, fun. <laughs> Makes my life a lot easier. Um, I am going to pick up some guys and use my transport to my advantage here. Because um, he's got these infantry, but he's got no kind of um, plan for stopping me from doing what I want to do. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Nothing for these guys to do, really. This bomber could get involved in some stuff, but I don't know what really attacking here, attacking here. Nah. Okay, I am going to attack this, and I definitely want to send like a bomber to each, and this needs more. This does not need so many planes. This could take a little break. Seven versus three is pretty good. Because if I don't take it, he can tank me. But then I can move my fighters into position. So we have that back up in case it fails. What's going on with this bomber? Yeah, no, no range on his transports. He's paying attention to his uh, transport ranges. Good for him. He's uh, built a fence in Western USA, and he's abandoned Alaska. Do got to watch out about this guy here. With no destroyers in position, he can pick off my transports if I'm not careful. Maybe he should have built a transport. Would have been good, hey? Because he can reach everywhere along here. Damn. That's going to make things harder. Let's just move along with these guys. Hmm. Alternatively, I could actually go here and set up a block. Um, if I put these guys here and this guy here, he actually can't get to Alaska right away, which I kind of like. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking even this isn't necessary, this fighter. I'm going to send him down here. Okay, really not happy about how I left this sub lying open. This destroyer should have been in a better position. Next. Roll dice. Perfect. No problems there. Next. Okay, Persia, I just need to kill them all in one round and then have him not hit all my guys. Perfect. One artillery survives. Continue to block the blitz through Persia. Lots of trading between Russia and Japan is good for me right now and really expensive for him. This is where I really want to wear down these Russians, and uh, it's essential that I do that through um, trading with the Japanese. And uh, I'm moving this line forward as well, which is really good. I do want to think about is how on earth can I get more pressure on him here? Hmm. So a lot I don't like about this situation right now with the way uh, these uh, this this submarine is here. Fighter could go here. Kind of like that. Gives me an active threat against. Uh, Oops, that's not good. These fighters go here. These fighters go here. Okay, so I got to figure out how to make the most out of this situation, given that I did not build a destroyer. I've got too many men here, really. Um, it'll be solved soon once these other transports come around. But there's nowhere I can go that's safe. So I pretty much just got to like run away, I'm thinking here. And then next turn, I'll have to come up here and do the drop. That sucks. Watch for U.S. sub. <clears throat> should have paid more attention to that when I was doing my purchases. I could have pulled a destroyer here, and then I could have done my drops in Manchuria, and I would have been totally fine. As it is, I'm delayed now. Which is not good, considering how much I need this timing on Moscow. It's mostly for the Germans. I'm mostly fighting the U.K. Like, if I can peel off the Japanese and Americans, sorry, the uh, Russians and Americans with the Japanese, then the Germans should be able to manage their own front. 
Um, drop two tanks here. You know what? I'm going to take the infantry out of here and make it an artillery, actually. Because uh, I have a feeling I need those artillery on the front line sooner. And they're not going to get there if I had to build them up here. It's going to take them forever. It's a big delay now because I dropped my units in uh, Yunnan last turn. Totally stupid. If I had dropped them in Manchuria last turn, they would be able to be in Anhui now instead of sitting here in Kwangtung. And then I'd be able to bring my transports down and do a drop in like Burma instead of having my units transports there stranded with no load. So I was kind of dumb all around last round. But what are you going to do? Definitely like that West Canada grab. Oh, that was dumb. I left my battleship. So now these guys, I've lost those transports. Left my battleship in Hawaii. Oh, well, this was the dumbest turn I've had on this game yet. Must be a bad time of day for me. I'm going to have to uh, be a little sharper next turn.